Hello. That's quite annoying for people, I think. I don't Is think it? you should do that. Hello. Please leave a comment below if you think that's annoying. Is that annoying? How Maybe about, good afternoon, good uh, evening, that's good really morning. boring. From wherever you are in the world. That's dull. Welcome to our YouTube channel. No, that's, that's really annoying. Is. Stop it now. Press the subscribe channel. I was trying to do like the old voice of the BBC. Oh, no, this really is annoying. the BBC. Yeah, there's a reason things moved on. Anyway, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Anyway, we promise we're not always this annoying. Yeah, we don't often do documentary trailer reviews. But this is a documentary Why trailer. Because we love documentaries. Well, we do, because there aren't actually that many. There you go. Um, so, we do all the ones that come. Yeah, and this one I thought we'd do, because if you follow our channel, we have a strand called Green Fingered Hell. And in the last year, I've been promising the idea that we're going to have our own self-sustaining kitchen garden in our garden. Right. Okay, so let's take that. Now, I think people feel I've possibly bitten off more than I can chew just saying that I'm going to make a kitchen garden yeah. this year. Yeah, okay. Well, this is about... This is called The Biggest Little Farm, and it is about a couple who lived in LA who decided to throw everything in and create a totally self-sustaining farm. Oh, but they've got the sun. And this has won, all, got the rain. This has won all sorts of awards at the, on the festival circuit. Oh, how lovely. And uh, I thought it would be a really sort of inspiring watch for us. So here we go. This all started with a promise that we'd leave the big city and build a life in perfect harmony with nature. Like a traditional farm from the past. Here we are, Apricot Lane Farms. Molly and John are very happy about this. What do you think of this, Todd? This is what we're fighting. Wow. Cool. Our version of a farm would be different. Plants, wildlife, livestock, all working together. Here they are, Emma the pig and Mr. Greasy the rooster, friends for life. <laughs> we wanted to believe that everything had a purpose. We had our plan. And nature had hers. Oh, that sounds overwhelming. But even the pests have a role to play. And these are the opportunities that fuel our farm. They told us we were crazy. And sometimes they were right. Breaking news in California. Six major wildfires. No. No. We're starting to face new problems. Look, have a hammer down and then just pray. We just don't have answers for them. No, no. Our land reawakened. On roof. This is a large chicken egg. We're making an egg. Yeah. We saw things oh. that we had never seen before. Have you washed your hands, Jeff? <laughs> The hardships we face make the dream itself feel so much more alive. Oh, you will say yes. what? John, please be careful. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I want to see that so bad. The I biggest want little that farm life. movie. I want that life. I want that size of a challenge. I don't. I do. I don't. I want to have to recontour hills and land. I don't I mind want to create scones. steps. I'll I want make to the create scones. tiers of produce. I want to create systems of irrigation. I want I want man, I want wildlife. I want livestock. I want to produce material. I want self-sustainingnessnessness. I want tractors, I want slugs, I want... Darling, There was darling, a snail darling. carrying another snail. You haven't watered the six plants you've got in the cold box outside. Because London makes you not want to. But I, it shows a lack of willingness. No, it doesn't. It's a lack of time. <sighs> the biggest question I'm asking there, though, is, like you said, they must be pretty wealthy to, to do that. To have that kind of filming. Well, I mean, that's, that's a crew. Well, yeah, but... That's a crew. And that to be was... able to invest, they, they must have been very well. Because they haven't done that all by hand, have they? 
it's, a, it's one of those films where you can just sort of, for a moment, park all your sort of resentments. Yeah, I don't of care. Them I just and just kind of go, it. I just want to see I haven't it. Haven't got any resentments? Well, you have a bit. I haven't? I, I think they look lovely people. No, I have not. People. I do not resent those people. I do. Huh. I really resent them and I want their life. Yeah, I like that. <laughs>